Today we're whitening pillows. Come on in and welcome to my home. Today we are whitening pillows simply because we're whitening pillows. I, I really need it to. My pillows have gotten a little bit dingy and sort of yucky, so I decided what I would do is I'd try a natural whitening technique. And it's really simple to do. All it took was a half a cup of peroxide, a half a, half a cup of lemon juice, and a half a cup of vinegar. I filled my laundry tub with hot water and then added the ingredients, the peroxide, the lemon juice, and the vinegar. Made sure that that mixed up a bit and then added the pillows. I added them and then let them soak for an hour. Halfway through that, I did flip the pillows over to make sure that they soaked on both on both sides because, you know, they are pillows. They have a tendency to float. I added the laundry detergent after that hour and ran it through its full cycle. Pretty simple. When they came out, they did look a little bit whiter, but I wasn't 100% certain on this. wasn't 100% sold. So the next thing I did is I put them into my dryer and I added my favorite tennis balls. These are tennis balls that I use solely for cleaning and they help fluff up things and make them so that they don't get all flat and icky. So I use them on like comforters and pillows. I put those into the dryer with the pillows and then ran it. Yes. So then after everything was said and done, we took a, I took them out of the dryer and compared them from what they were to begin with to what they are now. I personally think that the pillows do look a little bit whiter. I honestly, truly do. The pictures can speak for themselves and you can decide I'm not going to edit these out in any way, shape, or form. These are just as is. The only difference is the time of day and the light that was coming through the window. That is the only difference. Those pictures that you are seeing are exactly what I saw. So I personally think that this worked out well. I don't know exactly how yours will go. You can add more peroxide if you want to, but I did not. This method worked really well. If you try this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to like and share this video. Liking and sharing really helps. If you want to see me do videos like this or you want to see me do tests and that sort of thing, the big way of doing this is you're going to have to check out my Patreon. But if you want to see me test out products and that sort of stuff, the Patreon really helps so that I can get the money to buy the products so that I can test them out. And I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.